In the meantime, you see a lot of red on the screen because even though the probability of a rate hike coming up on Wednesday is just two measly percentage points, regardless of what the Fed does or doesn't do, we have the names that at least one guy thinks you should buy today. He is Mark Lucchini. We're so glad to have him here. Mark, and, and as, you, as you look at what's going on over Janie Montgomery, why, why do we see so much fear in the market? We have the VIX jumping about 23% right now. Well, I think you have a couple things that are culminating in that, Liz. One, of course, is fears of Brexit. Uh, we know that there's been recent polls that actually showed that the British referendum leaving toward, leaning towards leaving the EU has exceeded that of remaining inside the EU. And the other factor, of course, is that there's some suspicion that this meltdown we've seen in global bond yields isn't all about central bank buying copious amounts of bonds, but rather is indicative of a global growth picture that certainly isn't strengthening and by some accounts is weakening, particularly when you look at the World Bank forecast, which recently was adjusted down by one half of one percent to 2.4 percent for 2016. Okay, so you say buy dividend paying names. We can put the ones that you like up on the screen. They are Verizon, Walmart, and Vanguard with the dividends that they pay out. Is this just a safe way to make money as the volatility continues? Well, there's an element of that, clearly. I think there's a certain defensive quality about those names that are common characteristics. In addition to that, unlike the fear that many host that a, a rate hike increase is going to undermine the prospects for interest rate sensitive stocks, we think, well, yes, it certainly could alter the short term portion of the maturity curve, but less so on the longer term. And as a consequence, I think the insatiable appetite for yield goes on unabated, and therefore these high, attractive, above market, above fixed income market yields should remain alluring. To investors in search of current income. Well, yeah, and when you see yields, I, I think that those are pretty significant. And I mean, forward annual trading yields of 2.8 percent or what have you, I think, are, are really good. We are less than a minute away from the Senate floor and the moment of silence they will take for the Orlando victims. I want to thank Mark Lucchini.